What's going on, y'all? It's your boy E, one third of the High Press Podcast, and I'm here to talk about the drama, serious drama that's going on at Real Madrid right now. So, as everybody knows, um, Real Madrid was just drubbed seven to three by crosstown rivals Atletico Madrid at MetLife Stadium in New York during their preseason um, friendlies over here in the states, and. Uh, a lot of fallout has happened since this loss. One, um, Zidane is reportedly very unhappy with his team. Uh, after the match, he spoke to media and um, basically just was point blank with it. Said that his team was not good enough. Uh, Zidane said, we, we entered the game very badly. A high level competition and we entered it very badly. At eight minutes, we were already down 2-0. There there was no response from us and there was no change either. The first part was difficult. We entered the game, but we just lacked everything, especially intensity. Yikes. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, Zidane continued. They scored seven goals. It cannot happen. This is also known to the players who are disappointed, but you can't put spin on it. It's preseason. They were just better at everything. There's nothing more to talk about. Um, after the match, uh, a lot of pieces have dropped. So supposedly there's reports out of Madrid saying that Florentino Perez, the club president is backing away from his, you know, um, buy of Eden Hazard. Supposedly Florentino Perez has told people, you know, within his circle that he has no confidence in the 150 million pound winger. Um, also he's telling people that, uh, um, the only reason he bought Hazard was because of Zidane. It was at Zidane's request that he brought Hazard in. And, you know, it's been reported that he's feeling this way because supposedly Hazard reported to camp um, seven kilos overweight. And um, he just hasn't had the fitness this preseason. Um this isn't the first time that Hazard has had some fitness issues back in 2015-16 after Chelsea won the uh, the league title. Um, players asked Mourinho for an extended break before returning to preseason, and um, Hazard reportedly came into that camp overweight as well, and it took him, you know, a few months to kind of get in, into the swing of things. Also, last year, after the Europa League final, um, there was a video that went viral in the locker room with uh, Chelsea teammates, David Luiz and Gonzalo Higuain. They were kind of pinching at Hazard. You know, they pulled up his, his shirt and they were pinching at, at his stomach and uh, kind of just poking fun of, you know, that he had flat, which to me is ridiculous. Hazard is what, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, 140 pounds, 150 pounds. So, you know, he's a professional athlete. Like, it's just crazy to me that he's not in shape and that he doesn't have abs and that he has flab on his stomach. Like, I got flab on my stomach, but, you know, I'm not a fucking, uh, you know, million dollar player like Hazard is. Um, also, another uh, story to drop was that uh, James Rodriguez is actually going to be staying with the club for right now which is a little turn of events. Um, all summer, we were hearing about James Rodriguez on the way out. Uh, Zidane had told him that he has no future with the team. Um, they were looking for a buyer. They were looking for a specific price, and they said they would not sell him unless that price was met. James Rodriguez spent last year um, on loan, the last two years on loan at Bayern Munich. Uh, Bayern did not pick up his contract, so he's back with Real Madrid. And it was reported that he may be getting a move to Serie A with teams like uh, uh, Ju Juventus and Napoli both coming in for the player. Um, also, it was reported that uh, Florentine Perez actually canceled the meeting with Atletico Madrid. Atletico was after James Rodriguez, but after seeing the 7-3 ass whooping that his club got, Perez canceled the meeting with Atletico because he didn't want to strengthen a, uh, you know, a rival team, which is smart about him. Shit, I, I wouldn't want to sell James to, to Real Madrid either, you know, I mean, um, to Atletico Madrid either, you know. And uh, today, another shoe has dropped in the Gareth Bale drama. So we all know Gareth Bale is not happy at Real Madrid. Real Madrid is not happy with him. Um, 
Zidane has clearly also told Bale that he has no future with the team. They've been trying to sell him all summer, but with his wages the way they are, I believe he makes around, you know, 600, uh, 600,000 euros a week. Um, it's just extremely hard to sell a player of that caliber because no team wants to take on those sort of wages, right? So it was reported that there was a possible move to ch- to China to Jiang Su Suning. Apparently, they wanted to get bail on a free transfer, and um, they were willing to double his wages. So supposedly, it was said that he was going to make about twenty two million dollars. Um, a season if he moved to China, but um, they wanted to get him on a free transfer and Real Madrid was unwilling to cut their losses. So that deal has been uh, shut down. And a report today was that Gareth Bale has pulled himself out of Real Madrid's trip to Bayern Munich for um, a couple of preseason matches. According to Bale's representatives, he's not in the right mental state to play after his move to China was rejected by um, Florentino Perez. It's just it's just an ugly situation over there at Real Madrid, especially with Gareth Bale. Like, it's clear that Zidane does not like the player. Bale's agents have come out and said that, you know, their player is being treated unfairly. And um, it's just an ugly situation. It's tough when a club wants to sell a player and a player wants to leave, but they cannot agree on a fee with another club. And now they're kind of in this purgatory right now, you know, Um I just I just see it hard for Real Madrid to not play Gareth Bale like he makes all of that money. He's one of the best players on the team, regardless if you don't like him or not. Um, Gareth Bale's talent is undeniable, right? He's one of the best players in the league. You would think that, especially with the injury to to Marcos Asensio, you would think that Bale would have a place in the team now. Reportedly, that's another reason why they don't want to to let James leave, because now Zidane is going to deploy James on the wing um, instead of centrally, like he's been playing in Bayern, and he also plays centrally and uh, um, internationally for Colombia as well. But it's just it's just crazy that a team such as Real Madrid would have these issues like you would think that after the disappointment of last season, they would kind of want to get their shit together, you know, and stuff like their their, you know, club transfer record guy coming in out of shape. You got two players on the books that make a lot of money. The club clearly does not want to play them, but they cannot sell them either. Or they're unwilling to sell them because they don't want to take a loss on the profits of the original transfer. It's just an ugly situation, man. As a Real Madrid fan, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm throwing my hands up in the air. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know how, you know, things can get fixed other than selling Bale and selling Hamas. Well, Hamas is on another level because supposedly um, Zidane has reconsidered putting Hamas into the team, but there's no report saying that Bale will actually slide in. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, is Hazard actually overweight? You know, the season starts in a couple of weeks, so his fitness is going to be tested. If he gets off to a slow start, will the fans jump on him? You know, like they've jumped on Bale for the past two seasons. Um, James Rodriguez, how is he going to do on the wing? Is he going to be happy playing out of position on the wing as opposed to playing centrally, which is his preferred position? And Gareth Bale, what the hell do you do with somebody that makes that much money and the coach clearly does not rate them, does not want them in the team, wants them gone, but you cannot sell him? Oh, I don't I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Um, it just doesn't look good for Real Madrid. Like I said, after coming off of a bad season last year, Barcelona retooled up. They got Antoine Griezmann, you know, um, 
They're still in for Neymar. Atletico Madrid looked awesome in preseason. You know, Diego Simeone got those guys firing on all cylinders. Jal Felix looks like he's legit. Diego Costa came in, slimmed down, and banged four goals on Real Madrid. Literally abused their back line all game. And uh, Real Madrid looked like they don't have any answers for it. So it's definitely going to be very interesting to see how all of this drama plays out, man. But, yo, anyway, I'm over here on lunch break. I'm about to go back in. I just wanted to drop a quick video for y'all, man. It's your boy E, one-third of the High Press Podcast, signing out. Stay tuned for more developments on this Real Madrid drama. I'm out, y'all. Peace.